Joining us now, Vinny Siena, second baseman from UConn, about to be the second baseman for the New York Mets, just drafted in the Major League Baseball Amateur Draft. Congratulations thank to you. Thank you. Thank you. So what was going through your mind? Tell us, tell us the process. First, where were you? You were sitting home? I was sitting home with my family, my mom, my dad, my grandma, my girlfriend, and we were waiting, and you know, the third day, the picks are rapid fire, so there's yep. like not a lot of time in between, and you know, I'm waiting for my phone to call, and you know, I'm getting calls, and I'm negotiating with teams, and you know, the Phillies call me, and they say they're going to take me in the next round, and I was like, all right, and I'm listening, and all of a sudden, the Mets come up, and I had talked to them you know, previously, and my name was called, and I was just like, this is awesome, and it happened, and I, I was so happy. <laughs> How does that work when you say you're negotiating with him? They want to know if you're going to take such and such a signing bonus yeah. before they draft you. Explain that to yeah, me. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of it's signability and, you know, whether or not you're going to sign or go back to school, and that, that's usually juniors and high school, high school kids' cases, so they try to get a feel of whether or not you're going to sign. You were picked a couple days ago, and you're telling us now what's next. On Monday, you're going to, you're going to report to the Brooklyn Cyclones. Yep. The, the A ball team, right? Yeah. So you're going to get a physical Monday, and then what? And then I start. Well, I think we're practicing a little bit. Our season doesn't start till either the, I think it's the 19th. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we'll practice a little bit. I'll, I'll meet the staff and, and other players that were drafted and hopefully start the journey. How does that signing work? There, you, you automatically sign yourself to a salary with some sort of bonus. And yeah. So that, has that happened? Yeah, I get, no, not yet. Okay. I do, I'm going to do that there. Okay. I have to have a physical in Manhattan and then actually sign and go through my contract there. And you will then be a professional athlete? And then I will be pro professional. So, so did you finish your, your junior year? You, you, yes. You finished your junior season. Yep. So you've got two semesters left in college at UConn. Mm -hmm. You see yourself finishing that and getting your degree at some point? Yeah, I definitely want to. I'm going to try to get it done as quickly as possible, you know, however, long, however quickly they let me. Another second baseman went to UConn was also picked a couple years ago. Tell us about L.J. Mazzilli, and, and you heard from him when you were picked. Yeah, he called me right after uh, it happened, and, you know, he was a senior when I was a freshman, and, you know, I learned a lot from him just watching him because, you know, he's a great player, and yeah. he's a good role model, and, you know, we learned a lot. We connected. Our families are actually kind of close. Well, now you're into what we talk about being a professional athlete. You're into the real business of sports now. Are you prepared for that? Because, I mean, you know, you, people get traded, people get cut, people get moved to a position they may not like. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, hopefully I perform well enough to where... I don't have that problem, but, and you know, if my career takes me to another team, then so be it. I'm just going to be happy I'm playing. Talk about your family's reaction to you being so close to home. Yeah, tears, very happy. Uh, even better that I get to be home, or close to home, I mean. And, uh, you know, my dad's going to try to get to as many games as he can. When did you know? Like, did you, did you, oh, like, hey, we all wanted to be major league baseball players, football players when we were kids, but when did you know, like, hey, I'm pretty good and maybe this could be a future career for me? Uh... I don't think I really ever knew, but I had the determination to, to get there. And, you know, I guess high school, when I started getting recruited for college baseball, I, I knew that, you know, this is something I want to pursue. I want to, you know, be the best that I can be and hopefully be a professional. Awesome. Well, that's terrific. And, you know, UConn has put out some guys who are playing pretty well right now in the major leagues. So yeah. the UConn has made a, a pretty good uh, play in the majors. Yeah, and it goes to show that, you know, hard work, determination, a good work ethic, you know, you'll be successful with that, and you know, it doesn't matter if you're from the South, you're from the Northeast, wherever, Division Two, Three, One. You know, if you can work hard and and put up numbers, you know, you're going to get a chance. Well, we'll be following you, and we wish you the best. Will you come back after you uh, hit that first uh, home run? Like, come, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah come you visit come back us again. Visit oh us yeah, of course. <laughs> Terrific. We'll look forward to that. Hey, congratulations, man. That's that's really it's 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 awesome. Thank and you. The state's proud, and uh, thanks again for coming in.